Hello friends. Uh, in last video, we have seen that how to take a number from a user, or then we did the addition. Here we have taken the integer a from the user and integer b from the user. We had did the addition, and we had printed the output or displayed the output. But uh, that is not our final aim. What we need to do is that we need to create a calculator. A calculator. Creating calculator means we should give the choice to the user to enter the choice. It means he want to enter the values, he want to do the addition, he want to do the subtraction, multiplication, or division. That we will do. The different choices we are going to create. So we are having actually uh, five cases. Uh, first case is about entering the number a and b. Second uh, case is where we are going to do the addition of a and b and so on so for that we are going to use actually the uh, we are going to use the switch case now for that uh, first we need to display the message to the user right so i will do i will copy this i will paste over here in this I will write enter one or uh, enter one to enter the values of A and B to for addition C for subtraction four for uh, division and 5 for multiplication multiplication okay now by default what it should do it should now it, it will live in the infinite loop it should uh, exit somewhere so we will give one more option 0 to exit so that it won't be infinite so we need to take a choice from the user so for the taking the choice from the user we require this right we are going to take number from the user so we will require this and we have it should be in the choice say ch but ch is not defined see here the error has came so what we will do is that we will have a ch now uh, it is not defined uh, ch does not have a default value so we should give it the default value so say it is 1 sorry it is 0 so by default it will exit if we are not entering any value to ch it will enter it, it has taken the value from the user right so we will go to the switch switch of choice now when we, we are writing switch case, in that case what we do is that we give a switch and a case, right? So for that purpose we will have this switch over here and we will write cases below that. So switch is this, it is, this is blue. So the case, case 1. In the case one, what it should do, it should take the value from the user. So this message should be displayed and the value should be taken. So all these three lines I will cut from here and I will paste here. Okay. Then there is a case case two. In the case two, what we should do is that the addition. So we will do the addition. Now the problem over here is that uh, if the user directly entered 2, in that case A and B will not have any default value. So we will put the default values over here for A and B. Fine. So we are getting that. So we are taking the numbers from the user. Case 3 will be uh, so this is addition now we will do the subtraction a minus b okay and we, we, we will copy this 
and paste over here. So it is subtraction is subtraction is right. So there will be case four. Case four is c is equal to four is for division. So c is equal to a divided by b. Okay, and we are going to de define this. This is subtraction. Uh, this is uh, sorry division. Division is okay. Then there is a case five. Okay, case five c is equal to a into okay, and this is multiplication. Okay, and we said that zero to exit right. So we will write case zero. Case zero here we need to exit from the infinite loop. So we will write system dot exit and with status is here will be is zero. Okay. So like this. But we we have written zero, but this is not in the infinite loop. Right? So to create an infinite loop, we will use two. Right? So I will, I will just so this loop will start over here and will end after this. Okay, and here we need to have the while. While say any variable is whenever it is zero, uh, it will in the infinite loop. Say option. Whenever it is zero, it will be the infinite. E is equal to equal to C. It is showing the error because it is not a boolean number. So it has to be equal to equal to zero. So whenever it is equal to zero, it will do that. But we need to have defined op. Okay, so here I will define op as equal to zero. So it will be always zero, right? So it will be the infinite loop. Okay, and it will close. Fine. So it is. Uh, these are the extra spaces, and I did on this code. Let's check whether it is showing some logical error. Okay, so enter the okay, the first message is being split. So I will enter the numbers. Two numbers. So it is one, say, and say five. Okay, so here you can see that it is giving the addition also, subtraction also, division also, and multiplication. And we have forgotten what it is doing. Is actually, it is first it is executing case one, case two, case three, and so on. We need to have the breakout here. So I will put breakout here, and in each and every case, I need to put a break so that it will execute only that condition. Okay. Let's save that. Control S. Okay, I will run it again. Okay, so it has given a message, so I will enter 1 and the 2 numbers. I will enter 2 and say 6. Okay, so see it is in the infinite loop. It is not displayed. Again, it is asking for the 2 numbers. What is the problem? That it is this thing, these 2 lines are out of the loop. So I need to actually cut from here and we need to put in the infinite loop. Let's save it. Okay, so now enter. So message is displayed. So I will write enter. Enter the two numbers, say three and say eight. Okay, so again it is showing any showing the problem. So it is again displaying because the choice. Okay, it is not giving the. Okay, so we had entered, okay, yes, it is right. Okay, so we had actually entered the number and it is asking us again the, for the option. So if you want to do the addition, I will press 2. Okay, addition is 2. Now, again, if I want to enter the number, I will press 1, say 6, and say 3. I want to do the subtraction, so I will press 3. Subtraction is 3, right? Okay. 
so if i want to do the division so say 5 uh, multiplication 5 and this is a multiplication that is 18 now i want to try to exit i will press zero so now it is not showing the message any message so it has been exited from the this loop now for that it is it has not displayed the message so what i'll do is that i will copy this i will place over here and here i will write the program has program will exit now okay let's say this and i will again run it enter the number so i want to enter the number 1 Okay, so to enter the number, so say five and say eight. Okay, what I want to do is I want to say do the subtraction. So five minus uh, eight is minus three. Okay. Now if I want to exit, I will press zero and enter. So program is program will exit. This is your first experiment of 